Grand Rising, everybody. Yes. So I'm back on here to do a video because I want to talk about the Travis Scott situation. Uh, more or less, just give my thoughts and conclusions on what I think about the situation. Um, you don't have to believe anything that I am saying. Um, you can feel free to leave and not continue to watch the video. Um, this is not going to be to debate or argue with anybody. This is just, like I said, my thoughts, my personal conclusions. If you Order. do not agree with them, then that is okay. You don't have Order. to. It's not a, a forced thing. Let's start by talking about how Astro Realm, Astro Realm is my bad, Astro World. And the reason I said Astro Realm is because it's a realm, okay? The Astros. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but we are in a spiritual warfare. And right now, um, the elites, okay, they need as much energy. We are energetic beings, okay? They need it. They need energy. So. What this festival, concert, all this was, was a way to harness energy for, let's call it, the dark side. There's duality in everything, okay? High vibration, low vibration, good, bad, whatever you want to call it. They need more souls, so, they was opening up portals in that bitch, and that's why a lot of people passed away. Okay? What brings you to this conclusion, Drew? Oh, okay, well, I'll tell you. First of all, we can come to the conclusion that, uh, let's look at this. Escape plan. Travis Scott. The artwork, okay? Weekly World Truths. The true dysphoria, sorry, dystopia, dysphoria. Dystopia is here, okay? The true dystopia. When the end arrives, it really, it's really the beginning. Who knows what lies beneath the surface? So you guys think he was just putting that shit out there just because he felt like it? Because he thought it was cool and it looked cool. Bro. Okay. So let's 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 do one thing real quick, right? Let's Google what dystopia means. Dystopia. An imagined state or society in which there is great suffering or injustice. So basically, yeah, that's the meaning. Okay? An imagined state. Or a society in which there is great suffering or injustice. And you're going to tell me that ain't exactly what happened? At his festival? Now, we could look more into... Other shit that he's posted. Look at this. Okay? That's a fucking portal. These are mountains, correct? A lot of people don't know, but uh, the elites have portals in the Caucasus Mountains. So for me, knowing this knowledge, didn't shock or surprise me that the portal he made was in a bunch of fucking mountains. Imagery, bro. Mm -hmm. He showed you everything. In his imagery. I can't put so another thing I wanted to point out, right, is this shirt that he was wearing. Y'all don't see this shit? This represents a portal. Okay? 
The blue beings represent high vibrational beings. The red ones are low vibrational beings, okay? Those are the elites, the people who fucking... These motherfuckers that worship the bad shit, okay? So basically, his shirt is depicting how they need more souls, more energy for this war. Because he's transferring good to bad. Who came up with the design? Who thought to even do this? Hmm. Come on, bro. Y'all could do better than that. There's this too, right? Look at this. Tell me what y'all, what do y'all see here? That's a fucking portal. Okay? And those are souls getting sucked into the fucking portal. And that still don't make y'all take a second look at this shit? And what went down? I think that's what scares me about society. Is how the lack of awareness y'all have is fucking scary. <laughs> it could come down to the simplest thing, man. Everything's done with an intention. Nothing is done just because. Especially... In social media, in the music industry, in in all these things, they, they there's an agenda that these people are definitely playing by. But basically, what I'm trying to say is, he was soul harvesting, okay? And all the signs were there. All the signs was in your face. And with these apologies by Drake and Travis, they're fake. They're fake apologies. They did that because they had to do it. Why you think they didn't do nothing? You telling me all those people, they telling you eight people that passed away that, that night, bro. But no, we're just going to believe eight because that's what the news said it was. Do you know how much they fucking lie to y'all niggas on the daily? You need to start reading between the lines. You need to start second guessing everything that these big platforms and superstars put out to you because they all go by an agenda. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave it at that. They can never do something without your permission. So, they're going to put it in your face. However way they can. So subliminally, you're accepting it. Don't fall for this shit, bro. Don't fall for these rappers. Because all they are are little pawns to manipulate you. And it's working so fucking well. But yeah. Stay woke. Stay safe. Keep your vibrations high, people. Just, most I can say is, research everything. Don't go with the first thing somebody tells you. Even if they got a suit and a tie and a degree. Because they're the first ones to fuck you over. That being said, I'm off this. <laughs>